Jesse? This memorial with handwritten notes of love marked the spot where the victim who just turned 18 in March was hit and killed over the weekend. His friends and family still hope the driver who fled the scene is held accountable for that death. Driving his motorized scooter early Saturday morning, an 18-year-old died after being hit along Madison Avenue near Stop 11 Road. We're all in shock. It's traumatized the whole family. Charles believes his younger brother, Trenton Walter, was hit by street racers who refused to stop following the collision. I don't see how anybody with a conscience could just leave somebody there. You know, that's, that's just evil. He just turned 18. He still had a whole life ahead of him. I'm heartbroken, bro. Braden, who lived and worked with Trenton, explains how his friend drove his scooter everywhere, even in the winter. Uh, he, he used to break down on that side of the road, pump it up with a bicycle pump and everything. He was a good kid. He was always on that moped. He was he was proud of it. Like He treated it like it was a showroom brand new car. IMPD detectives believe this stock photo is what the suspect was driving, a 2007 to 2010 gray Chrysler Sebring, which should have front end damage. In the meantime, Trenton's friends and family wrote I love you on the sidewalk and we miss you on signs and balloons at this makeshift memorial. They just hope justice is served even though it won't bring Trenton back into their lives. It's, it's never going to be fine. He's gone forever. We can't see him, hug him, talk to him. We're all just devastated. Uh, the whole family. We're we're, we're hanging in there, but it's it's tough. Finally, anyone with information on this case is still asked to contact Crime Stoppers. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. Jesse, thank you.